you've got this Mazda MX-5, uh, basically what, 20, 22 kilowatt induction yeah. induction motor, industrial induction motor, but you can feed it more volts and you get maybe 100 kilowatts perhaps. Yep. Okay. Now, to basically uh, running a standard gearbox. Yep. Pretty much five speed, is it? Yes, five speed, and we, we kept mm. the standard clutch, although we found out it can't take the torque, so we're going to have to put a racing clutch in it. Right, okay. Okay, so... It's about twice as much torque out of this electric motor as mm. it was in the original petrol motor. Okay, twice as much torque. Okay, now what about in terms of... Um, um, we can see we've got a tritium, tritium yeah. controller there, yep. so... It's a Brisbane company that yep. started out with the Sunshark um, solar cars, you know, the Darwin to Adelaide thing. Okay, yep, yep. What about uh, voltage? So what sort of voltage um, are we looking at? Pretty crazy, 720 volts. Although, right at the moment, we at Tritium haven't been able to give us the high voltage controller, but yep. they reckon they'll have it for us next week. Okay, so if it's 720 volts, what? Uh, oh, so it's 360 at the moment? That's right. And then, but, but it's going to be 720. Yeah. So we've got it in the two halves and they're in parallel at the yeah. moment, but they'll be connected in series. In right, so okay. We get the high voltage controller. But the battery pack that we obviously saw earlier, there's a battery pack at the front, there's also a battery pack right there, yeah. there, and further below where you can't see. That's right. Below. And there's even some under the boot there. Yeah, see ya. Oh, you can see the battery pack, battery pack there, yep. down below the boot. Now, what, what what happens if it gets wet? Yeah, at the moment we don't really want to drive it through any flooded creeks. Yep. Because it's not all that waterproof. It's not immersion proof, but okay. it's, it's splash proof. Okay. Yeah. Basically, with the way this is all set up in terms of the battery packs, what we have is uh, they're set into four separate, uh, four separate places, four separate four separate battery packs and when you switch the ignition off it isolates the four battery packs from each other so there's no more than 90 volts per battery pack yep. and basically what we're looking at is uh, it's not yet waterproof so one would not want to at this point in time drive through floods or anything in fact you wouldn't want to drive a petrol car through a flood anyway because if you do drive a petrol car through a flood I've actually heard of people who've done that and they've actually uh, uh, the engines actually sucked in water and and caused the hydraulic lock so so it doesn't matter if you're driving petrol or electric it's best not to drive through a flood the other thing is if you drive through a flood you could also end up uh, floating away